Hey everybody, Master Dragal here. Last time on Legend Dragoon, we completed the side quests to fight the optional dra option that to beat the five dragoons. Actually, wait, sorry, that was four. The four dragoons inside of Velweb for Shirley. And so, to start off in this episode, we're going to get the item that we need for the last optional quest of the game. And then we're going to continue on with the uh, next two parts. The next two areas. And then we'll actually just go on and do the optional mission before we go to the final area of the game. Yep, we're almost done with this game. Well, besides the fact that, uh... Like I keep on saying. Xenobatos is a very, very tedious and long place to be. It's absolutely horrible. Alrighty, so to get this item, interrupted by a battle. But to get this item, we had to go to Rogue so we can talk to Martel because we finally got the final, uh... Okay, that was convenient. We finally got the final Stardust. And so since we have that, she will give us uh, one last item. Which I believe was the Vanishing Stone, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, but the annoying thing here is, uh, with the boat, you can't, uh, fly. Yeah, you can't fly when you're in the boat. Um... How many do I even have? I have two. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's try this again. I don't want you to attack me, attack yourself. Yay! Well, that's once. And it ran away. Yeah, it's nearly impossible to kill that thing. Unless you did what I did, and you just threw a satchet at it. So this is probably like the last uh, minor detail that we're go probably going to uh, waste our time going back to. Because the only reason that we're going all the way back here is because I didn't grab the Stardust at Van uh, Valweb before uh, completing the third disc. Yeah. It's all my fault. And so here is Martel. Yay!
And because we collected all 50 Sardus, little is healthy. We got the Vanishing Stone. All right. So part of the reason that we're not going to go off and uh, do that side quest right away is because, oh my God, is it so very hard. This is like the toughest side quest in the game, I swear. But anyway... What we're going to do is, in Zanabos, there are actually uh, shops in there for uh, special items. Because once you know it's a, it's a city. Cities have shops, except for the magical one. And what they do is the armor makes it so the character is immune to their own element. Yeah. Very, very useful. Will you please leave me alone, you stupid red bird? Why are you attacking Albert? Leave him alone, jerk. One extra thing to not enjoy about the red bird. It doesn't give you good camera angles. Yeah, bad cam camera angles are completely and utterly horrible. I don't think it's going to run away. So in case if anybody wanted to see what this thing did, it did this. Awesome, a puff of smoke. Because puffs of smoke are necessary in order to dis uh, run away. Which is funny because you run away after the smoke disappears. Yeah. They should have made it so, like, the smoke actually, uh, you know, like, makes the characters not visible. And then they've run while the smoke is still up. Oh, such a silly concept. So unfortunately, we had to run all the way back out of town in order to fly away. But yeah, there's a particular order that you're probably going to want to uh, take care of the uh, city of Zenabatos. Because, well, the major gimmick of this uh, area is that you have to change the law. 
Yeah. You had to change the law of the town. City. And so it has a bunch of different laws that can do stuff like you can't go and see the magic uh, signet. You can't, uh, you, there's a law, there's even a law of whether or not you will run into random battles. Yeah. The law, hum the law prohibits humans from going to the signet sphere. Thus, this flying disc cannot be used. Yeah. Okay, so first law to remember is 703. Dang! You just got denied. You got denied your birthright. Damn. What do you mean? He can just fly there. What they're saying is that he, you can't use that flying disc to use it. Yay! Video game logic. <laughs> 